Hi there, my name is Shelley Maki, and I am part of the interior design faculty at College of DuPage. Um, we are doing a Women's History Month uh, feature of some of uh, the women that we feel figure prominently um, in shaping our lives. And so I would like to share with you, um, as one of those, Norma Merrick Sklarik. Um, many people may not be aware that uh, Norma Merrick Sklarik, uh, who was born in 1926, was the first African-American woman architect in America. Uh, she actually received her bachelor's degree in architecture for, from Columbia University. And after receiving her degree, she went on to work in, she couldn't find an architecture position, so she went on to work in the New York Department of Public Works. After four years of that, she was really um, kind of feeling like her skill set was not being used. So she sat for her architecture examination and became the first American, uh, African-American woman in New York to become a licensed architect. Um, I include this photo here because um, Norma did experience a lot of, um, you know, tough times, I think, uh, being um, a woman in a um, male-dominated field as well as in the classroom. And so it definitely was a struggle for her to um, kind of achieve the, the um, rise that she did and uh, should be all the more honored for it. In 1955, uh, she transitioned. Uh, she actually received a position offer from um, the prestigious SOM uh, firm, and she decided to remain with them for five years. At the same time, um, you know, she was then a single mom, and she was also teaching uh, for the New York City College uh, in the architecture faculty to help support her kids. So her mom was helping uh, with her children while she was able to uh, do that. In 1960, then she moved again and accepted the position as the first female vice president for Gruen and Associates in LA. Um, she remained at Gruen for 20 years. Uh, she did speak later that uh, there were times where she felt she experienced um, discrimination. Uh, she actually was um, you know, marked down for being late on the job, even though it was her male counterpart who she was carpooling with each day and that person did not you know, get any, uh, get, in, get in any trouble for that. So it was something that she, you know, spoke about later and that there were some definite experiences of inequality. A few of her very well-known works were Terminal 1 in, at the LA airport and also the U.S. Embassy building um, in Tokyo, Japan. You can see those here. Additionally, um, you can see here the, um, the Commons Courthouse Center in Columbus, Indiana. This was a, um, a, a commission that went, um, was finished in 1973. She did marry fellow Gruen architect Ralph Scalaric in 1967. Before then, she had gone back to her maiden name of Merrick. Um, here's another notable work. This is the, they call it the Blue Whale. It's the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles. And you can see more of that here. Um, in 1985, she co-founded Siegel, Scleric, and Diamond with two other women um, architects. And for many years, she served as the chair of the National Ethics Council for the American Institute of Architects, um, wanting to prevent um, people coming up through the ranks from experiencing um, some of the um, issues that she had met with. She was also the first black female fellow of uh, the AIA, and that happened in 1962. And she served as the architecture faculty member at uh, UCLA from 1972 to 1978. I think it's you know definitely something to understand is uh, she she was a force, and she just did not give up. She was very determined uh, to carve her way in the architecture field. Um, and in 2008, she received um, AIA's Whitney M. Young Award, Whitney M. Young Jr., pardon me, award, as a pioneer in her profession, and she certainly was that. Howard University now holds an architectural scholarship in her name to this day. And one of the things that she's known as saying is, in architecture, she absolutely had no role model, um, and that she's happy today to be a role model for others to follow. And I definitely think that she has paved the way for those um, coming after her in such an amazing way um, that I hope you, after this talk, want to read more about her. Thanks so much.